Oh, this is good. Uh oh. It's a MiG 29 Luftwaffe. That's a good find. Probably 50 to 100 bucks, somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks. SBE, definitely some vintage. Ooh, this is CB. Oh, nice. A Maestro Mercedes Benz. That's pretty dope. A couple more Corgi wheels. Those are helicopters. Oh, this is way better. This is a good box right here. I like finding the plane stuff. Huge game board map, whatever you call it. These are good. Polish Air Force, Lockheed Martin, Concords. Oh, there's a ton of them. These are good too. This is very interesting. I have found a few of these in the in the first locker. Oh, this is a set maybe. Let's see. Yes, that was 11. This is 12. This is a full set of tricks right here. All right, well, this is another great bin. Again, I think 2,500 bucks right here, if not a little bit more. All right, got my full tank. Not too bad, because I didn't need a full tank. It's only half empty. There's the price of gas right now. Of course, I'm at the highest bracket with the diesel. And I'd say we're ready. All right, let's get over to the uh, train locker. All right, we haven't been there in a while. We haven't been digging through there in a while. Let's get over there and see what kind of goodies we can find. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. All right, and now we're here. Train locker time. Train locker time. I know some of you have been putting comments asking for a return to the train locker. It's been a while. It's been, I don't know, maybe a month, maybe more. I. I, I don't even remember. Every week seems like a blur. It seems like Groundhog Day week version. Monday we have an auction. Tuesday I ship. I try to cram as much as I can in. Saturday, Sunday we're preparing the auction. Repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. I'm not complaining. I love it. It's a great, great time. I love my job. All right, but this, I love this locker too. This is number two of the train lockers. We bought two and this is the second. Uh, got kind of pulled off the the rails <laughs> i like that pun i got pulled off the rails because we bought this big six locker estate well i'm back here i'm not done with that but i'm take a break i'm take a pause so we can do a little bit more digging in here see what we find you guys ready oh look there's even cobwebs on here that means i've not been here for a while <laughs> do you see that <laughs> all right there it is looks a little lighter since the last time we left it because there was some garbage here i took the garbage there was some better stuff here and i took that to the dienza flea market which you guys probably saw we did that uh flea market uh, about a, about eight or ten days ago and we're back for more 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 so i think we peeked in a couple of these bins right here there was train stuff it looked like good stuff we can see the clear see-through bins over here it looks like uh, that actually looks like electronics up there i see some trains all right we did have a little bay clear here i like that i like it a lot up here though i do see more like household stuff you know umbre umbrellas it looks like some sort of a light there's a quick pop-up shade something else there maybe a tent or something i see more household stuff and you know I kind of want to get that stuff down up there. I see a nice cooler. I want to get that stuff down up there. Just box all the way to the roof. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Um, yeah. I, and of course, patio furniture pads right there. Let's get that stuff down because my next trip to the market's not going to be the high end market. It's going to be the low end market, AKA Stockton, California. All right. Good market for moving massive stuff, not the greatest market for maximizing your price, but that's okay. That's okay. We just need to let stuff go sometimes. And this kind of stuff I'm seeing, yeah, that's the kind of stuff I want to let go. So let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on this ladder, believe it or not, and start bringing this stuff down so we can get this ready for the market. All right, let's go. Oh, look at that. That's not classic for this guy. Heated towel rack. Huh, that's pretty funny. To the market it will go. To the market it will go. To the market it will go. I got it. I was thinking I was going to take stuff off the top, but now I'm thinking I need to probably take stuff off here first because then I don't have to bring it all the way down. I can set it there, not come all the way down off the ladder. You know what I mean? Oh, some kind of a power strip. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. It's 25 bucks. That's the price tag. I mean, I grabbed the lid, but the bottom's slipping out. That's what I, this one's heavy. I was just looking at this thing. Maybe I keep this as a 12 by 12, but it weighs too much. That's super heavy. The new ones are way lighter. Here. This one's taped up kind of funny. Kind of funny. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> you 
see what we got here? This is actually pretty cool, but not really necessary to have that humongous box for this. Horn America collection. It's a big old like, you know, actually this would be really good for a shipping station because you can measure the box size and all that right here. It's got all the, the inches right there, right? Inches right here, metric over there. So you just lay the box on there and it shows you the size. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool for a desk pad. It smells a little musty though. Musty. There's another brand new patio umbrella right there. Those sold really well last time. Some more of those umbrella stands. A couple more umbrellas. Okay. Quilted hammock. Quilted hammock. Weather resisted quilted hammock. This is pretty cool because in our backyard we've got one of those hammock stands that looks like that. The hammock's a little ripped up, but the ha it came out of a locker a long time ago. But this uh, this this hammock looks like it might be brand new. Yeah, it's staples shut still. I think we're gonna take that home and do a little upgrade. You guys know I love my upgrades. Check this out, guys. It's really really dusty, but this is Gaincore Pre Precision Model Sukhoi S U K H O I. SU-33 from Game Corp. I think this is 75 to 100 bucks. We found some of these before. Uh, this one's really dusty. This one is a little different, I think, than the other ones we found. Good find. This right here is also a really good find. Collection armor. This is from the Franklin Mint. You see the Franklin Mint right there? And look at that. I don't know if that's going to come up on camera. It's a little dark in here. See a little, oh, the cockpit's floating around in there. It fell off. That happens in shipping. Uh, B11, B608. It's a MiG-29 Luftwaffe. That's a good find. Probably 50 to 100 bucks. Somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks. Next thing. Turd. Oh, this is good. Uh-oh. I know what this is. Look, guys. See the color of that box right there? <laughs> That's an Overland box. Brass. Something brass. Some kind of train. Made out of brass. Uh, oh, what's this? Ooh, this is another bridge. Riveted Camelback Warren Trust Double Track Bridge. I think in this number 3450, guys, I think this is the same thing we found either in the first or second episode. I think it was the first episode of the first locker. We found this exact same thing. Uh, I think it's exactly the same. If not, it's super similar. Uh, it looks, It looks identical. Let me switch to the iPhone and get a better shot. Okay, look at this. This is a bridge. Kind of got upside down here, but that's a bridge. This is made out of brass, super duper detailed. And this is for your train setup. So you can have like, you know, a landscape with this really realistic looking bridge. There's a little bench or something right there. It does have uh, rails on it. Train really does go right across this thing. So you hook it to your track on each end. And I think this is, like I said, identical to the one we already found or nearly identical. I'm sure the value is gonna be right in line. The last one we sold for $1,300, $1,300 bucks right there. 1300 so and we had put it on uh auction starting at a thousand on ebay seven day auction got somebody says that's re sent me a message said that's ridiculous what what's your lowest price you take i just blocked him I, I don't really respond to people that take that tactic in negotiating or working i don't work with people like that basically like i thought a thousand was too low but i was starting the auction off but no one bid at it so i said fine i'm no, i don't care i'll just set it at 1300 it sat for maybe three weeks two or three weeks and boom sold just takes the right buyer they're not always on they're not always looking for auctions but uh when they do find it they want to buy it now 1300 bucks and i think this one is going to be the same i got to bring this home and get it listed right away i'll tell you guys what one of the nice things about owning your own business about working for yourself about not having a boss is you don't have to work with rude people People wanted to be rude, you say, bye bye. I don't need your business, and I really don't. Uh, we make more money than I need to live every month. More goes into savings, more goes into retirement, and I don't expect that to change anytime soon because we have actually, surprisingly, driving some nice cars, but we don't have car payments. Uh, we don't, we have a very low mortgage, and I try not to spend too much. So, we don't, it doesn't take that much. It doesn't take that much. And that's exactly where you want to be in life. You don't want to be a slave to anybody. You don't want to be owing banks money. We do have a mortgage, so we are kind of still a slave to the bank, but we don't owe them too much money. And we have our house. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to be owing people money. You don't want to be at their mercy. I'm not saying having a boss is bad, but not having a boss is better. 
It definitely is perks to getting that consistent paycheck every month. Not having to stress about your business, your little small business, but uh, it must be nice doing a 40 hour a week too. And not having to put in a 100 hour weeks. I haven't had that in so long. I don't even remember what it's like. This is good right here. Got a couple more of the Gain Corp plane see that this one's a f-22 raptor we sold a couple of those already and like i said i think they were 75 or 100 bucks and then the su-27 flanker right there i think this is a couple hundred bucks right here okay let's see what's in these two that came down mm -mm -mm. this looks good oh look at this you guys channel 23 channel transceiver okay sbe definitely some vintage Ooh, this is cb citizens band receiver that's the cb i don't think i ever even knew that sbe all right trinidad model sbe-11 cb i'll try to find a, a comp on that but look at that um i don't think it's brand new i would assume it's not brand new but it is in the box so it could be man i don't know it does look nice it looks really nice but this guy this guy was one of those collectors that you know pride in ownership for sure Definitely an older piece right here. He may have used it and just been super gentle and careful with it and put it back, or he may have never used it. One thing it doesn't have is a CB. I'm sure you can just find one to use with it, but probably it came with one that no longer has it. It's worth noting, noteworthy. All right, let's see what's in this box here. Oh, okay, all right. Kitchen and camping stuff, I would say. Camping because you got this right here. It's for eggs. Yeah, this is some nice nice stuff though. A little old flashlight sharpener. Got a brand new knife set here. Stainless in Taiwan. Whoa, that's sharp. Ah, very sharp. Brand new. Hey, that's a good find. We can sell that at the market. Very, very easy. Nope, no gas. No gas. Wish I had that problem. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, here's a little sugar container. Very nice. Or, or liquid, I mean, I, I, I use it for sugar. Well, actually, we don't eat sugar anymore. What am I talking about? Sugar bad. <laughs> sugar bad. Oh, here's some nice silverware. I nice said nice silverware. And it's not that nice, but it is silverware. I like his style though. You know, bring this camping, all the silverware's in a bag right there. You're not eating with plastic stuff. This is some nice cookware for camping. Very lightweight, durable. All right, some matches. Cool. Oh, for the lanterns there that's nice huh camille wants to go camping this year i think grace does too but camille's the one who's more persistent with pushing and asking repeatedly and so on that is old paul Mollive. look at that's not even green anymore it's brown yuck i think we can find some new stuff but i don't know i might actually put this stuff aside and this tablecloth clips um more tablecloth clips and uh Shoot, this is actually some decent stuff right here for camping. And uh, yeah, I might just put it aside because I, I think I have this stuff, but I'm not sure because we haven't been camping in forever. I may have actually sold it all. I'm trying to be careful with this. It's heavy. Marble chest set, it says. <laughs> okay, that was most likely all going to the dump anyways, but uh, yeah, didn't hurt anything there. This is kind of interesting. Studio monitor. Yeah, it's not there though. So it did have some weight, but I didn't think it had enough weight, and that's why, because it's got a bunch of cables in there. All right, take the cables out. Yeah, the rest of this will go to recycle. Okay, I just went through the paperwork box, and it was all paperwork. Okay, obviously it was paperwork, but I mean, it was nothing that interesting in there. There was some tax returns, and I had mentioned this guy worked for Apple back in the late 80s, and I found documentation basically to, to support that. It showed uh, revenue from Apple on his uh, tax returns, even into the early 1990s. So definitely he did work for Apple. We already knew that, but it's just more confirmation. So it's more paperwork in this one, unfortunately. It looks like this is long storage stuff. So uh, it's all more paperwork right here. But yeah, he only made like, I mean, not only, but he was making about $100,000 a year in the early 90s work for Apple. That's good money. That's good money, no doubt. But it's not like crazy money because this guy, I think, was kind of crazy rich because this collection of trains easily four to five hundred thousand dollars, and that's what he paid. He bought everything almost, almost everything brand new. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. Nice. Wow. 
marble chess set very very nice brand new um yeah but i think he was also a early investor in tesla that's what we heard uh, potentially we didn't get that confirmed but potentially he was an early investor in tesla that was like somebody told us that's what they had heard uh, but obviously he did very well maybe with some real estate maybe with some stocks maybe a combination maybe some other stuff too uh the guy had some serious wealth there's a bunch of stuff up here i know you guys can't really see it but there's a bunch of boxes up here now the empty box Ah, unfortunately, this is one of the empty boxes. Look how cool that is. Sequest. It's like some kind of diving vest. Comes with a knife. That's pretty dope, but mm -mm. totally empty. Here's a chocolate fountain. All right. Oh, look at this. This is brand new. That's never been used. <laughs> it actually looks like a pretty nice one. Looks like a stainless steel. Wow. Sometimes you get them, they're chintzy, like plastic, and you can tell just not very high quality. This one looks like it's pretty decent. No surprise from this guy, though. It was 40 bucks brand new. Yeah, this one looks like, I think that's Lincoln Logs, right? Happiness Hotel, huh? Hmm, huh, I don't think there's too much value in those. I think we're just gonna bring those out to the market. But, uh, it's neat find. Definitely looks, looks a little older. What's this? Uh, uh, this is, I think is a, a hamster or a gerbil, some sort of uh, cage, right? It's got the tubes and tunnels and stuff. That's pretty neat. Flea market, flea market, flea market. Okay, here's that thing that fell right here. And what is this? Um, it's made by Brookstone. It's got a massage and a heat setting. It's just a little chair massager, I guess. It's kind of funny. It's pretty gross, though. Um, I'm going to take that to the flea market. You can probably guess which flea market. <laughs> I don't know if that'll even sell, but uh, this will though. Check this out. This is uh, it's very cobwebby. Let's see if there's anything in it. Nope, it looks relatively clean, but that's a good one. It's got the wheels and oh, it's even got a little dead spider carcass in there. But uh, yeah, this is a good, good little cooler. Very nice, very nice. Oh, nice, Maestro mercedes-benz i thought this was like something for mercedes-benz like a bra or something uh or trim piece it's actually a little car infrared remote controlled die cast model very nice very nice this one's got some weight to it it says picture let's see what that is another picture pack another one all right this could be good though and just a big tray i see some corgi stuff in here let's look at that what was that Oh, I saw something move back there. Maybe it was just a shadow, I hope. <laughs> Some umbrella stands. We'll take those to the market. Ugh, this looks like games. Model Sprite. Let's look at this stuff. Oh, look at that. That is pretty. Okay. Sharper Image Maestro. Wow, this looks like a very high-end piece. Very high-end. Um, That's kind of fun. I, maybe we take that home and put some batteries in it and see what it does. This. Oh, look at this. Markland. This is some older stuff here. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Hmm. Markland, Germany. This is some older stuff right here. Very nice. Got a tower right here. A uh, crane, rather. And that's neat. Look at this. It's wired up. Motor in there. I'm sure it actually works. You can probably use a remote control to operate that. Very cool stuff. Very cool. Older. Okay, you know what? This is gonna actually go back on the shelf because I'm worried I'm gonna hurt that. <laughs> That's some delicate stuff right there. Let's see what's in this one. Cooler bag. Send that to the market. This is nice right here. Very, very nice. A couple more Corgi wheels. Those are helicopters, die cast stuff. We found a, a few of those already, just like those. Oh, and this is great. Look at this Woodland Scenics. Some more little Woodland Scenics guys. And we've been selling these in our live auction fairly well. And a lot of interest in that. There's some Z scale probably. No, N scale. N scale. There's a little tiny helicopter right here. Looks like you put that one together. What's in the bag here? Or uh, paper. Tissue. Okay, a little plane. Okay. <laughs> Not too interesting, but it's different. All right, there's a little prizer. N scale figurines. Nice. Oh, nice. I know what this is. X3 model. These are more of those little BMWs. See that BMW logo? These, we think he bought these at the dealer. Look at that. They are sealed in bags right here. Never opened. Oh, this is great. What's this? Bummer. That's empty. Hmm. 
Empty. Okay. These aren't. Look at this. Each of these, I think, is a little die-cast car. And I believe he bought these at the dealership. When he bring his car to get service, he'd go and buy, like, whatever they had in the dealer. So cool. There's a bunch of them. These are great for our live auctions, too. Oh, and if you guys heard me talking about live auctions, we do them every Monday on our YouTube channel. Okay, it starts at 5 p.m. Pacific, only on YouTube. And if you haven't been, come on by. We have a good time every Monday night. We sell some of this great stuff, and there are good deals to be had. Here's some little die-cast Norscott metal tractors. Let's open one of these take a look. Oh, look at this. This one's a 7 Series. Isn't that cool how the boxes open like that make a little display? The number right there, the model number. Very cool stuff. I think it's made by Herpa. And uh, they're made for BMW and they distribute these, like I said, through the dealerships. Great find. Great find. I'm glad we found some more of that stuff. Yeah, definitely some pictures here. That's pretty. Watercolor. Plastic frame. Not super high end, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this one's heavy. This is a glass frame. Okay, now the NASA. We found one with a space shuttle on it. We sold that at the Better Flea Market. Um, I don't remember how much it was. Not much. And another watercolor one. Dang, they taped right onto the plastic there, but that matches the other one. All right, these are going to go right back in there and go to the market. Okay, next one. Ah, oh, family ones, okay. Let's get those back to the owner. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get it back to the owner. The owner passed away, but we'll see if the family maybe wants those. I don't think they do, they're on the East Coast, but I do have some put aside up here. We'll add that to the stack and we'll ask. Okay, there's another family one. I'm thinking this is probably another family one. Yep, 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 yep. Here's the next one, hopefully not more family photos. Hopefully something a little bit more interesting. Family. NASA space shuttle. That's nice. And another, uh, not space shuttle, but fighter jets. That's cool. Okay, what do we got? Games. There's a Star Wars Monopoly. Oh, this is really funny. This Puzzle 3D right here. Puzzle 3D. This is the kind of stuff we're finding in the other locker, uh, the, the estate sale that we bought. And this is uh, a Star Wars Stratego right here. That's a little different. Let's put that aside. And yeah, what else we got in here? Uno. Sort of a little toy right here. I don't know what that is. Some kind of starfighter. It's cool. Warjet, Wadjet, Wadget. Okay, and a couple of video games here. Star Wars Knights. This is a PC game. And I don't know about that, but we'll put it aside. This one's made by Atari. PC game. I think it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Alright. Star Wars St Stratego. Okay, cool. There's no instruction book, but here's an instruction book for Stratego. I'll put that in there, but I don't think that's the Star Wars instruction book. And this one right here, this 3D puzzle with the space shuttle, that is brand new, sealed, okay? And then this one, Wadjet, Wadjet. Whoa. That's some, ah, that is not a good font selection for that much text. It's very small, but poorly designed, guys, poorly designed. That's my graphic design critique. Very, very poorly designed. All right. Yeah, I don't know about this game. Never heard of it before. Wow. Huge map, though. Huge game board map, whatever you call it. Okay, I could only find one comp. There's a bunch of listed for sale, but only one sold in this Wadget right here. 15 bucks, and it says 100% complete. I am not going to research that and see if it's complete to make a $15 sale on eBay. No thank you, sir. All right, this one I couldn't find a comp on, at least not by the barcode. So, uh, But, I mean, look at the box and everything. I think that's a low production one. But it is sealed, so I'll bring that to a better flea market. But the other stuff I'm just going to bring to the regular old Stockton and let it go. Okay, well that feels pretty good. Well, there's still a few boxes up there, but these over here are all empty. And I've got a plan here, guys. I got a plan. So, and this is stuff I put aside uh, to save a little bit later. A few boxes. We'll use that bay for uh, keeping the good stuff. So, I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to get this area totally cleared out and then take this stuff and transfer it over here for now. 
So I can take these tables, which are pretty much garbage. Um, they're desks, really. They're, yeah, table desks. Um, but you see this stuff's peeling off. It, it, it passed their prime, but still, I'm going to take them to Stockton because we'll let them go out there. If somebody wants them, great. If not, we'll take them to the dump afterwards. But I want to get this cleared off because I don't have a full trailer load. And now that I have such a big trailer, I could take so much stuff. Taking tables like that is now an option. Uh, let's get that out of here. Let's make it go away. All right, so this is the old train stuff right there, the old Marklin stuff. What do we got here? We got a travel cooler. Jeez, this looks brand new too. This guy, he really did take good care of his stuff. There's the cord, plugs into the cigarette lighter. And all right, it says hot too, it can keep it cold or hot. Very nice. Hmm. All right, we'll sell it, we'll let it go. Okay, next up is this. Yeah. That don't look so good. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, I think, is all, like family tapes. Ewok Battle for Endor. That's hilarious. Here's a Marklin 1997. A uh, bunch of soccer stuff. Was this for coaching or something, I would guess? Mm -mm. I think this stuff's just going to go to the flea market or dump. I mean, flea market first, then dump. I don't think it'll sell. These tapes, um, maybe the tapes have a little bit of value. I don't think so. I don't know. Kennel space, 1999. I don't know. All right, that one's not too exciting. Okay, this one. Oh, dude. this one. <laughs> I see books. I see VHS. I see nothing good. But it's super heavy. Whoa, that thing just exploded. What the heck? All right, well, whatever. I'll we'll leave it in there. Looks like more books jumped in. Samurai workout, huh? That is funny. Kick butt and get buff. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, a bunch of VHS here. Yeah, that was the market. What do we got in here? Uh, I just see books. Soccer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Does not look interesting. There's a Harry Potter right there, but it's been chewed up by a rat. More train books there. Nope. All right, guys. That'll go to the market. Oh, this is way better. This is way better. Way better. Way better. Okay, because right off the bat, right here, we've got these little Herpa planes. Um, these are good. Polish Air Force Lockheed Martin. I This one is number 550499. I'll try to put a comp on the screen, but I've said this before. If you guys have been watching a while, you've heard me say this many times. I don't pay too much attention to the comps on these particular little planes because I've been pushing the comps. So, like, I recently sold maybe it's like 30, 40 bucks. I've been listing mine anywhere from literally 60 to $140, and I've been getting it because... I've got some rare ones, and there's just not that many available out there in the world. So um, this stuff right here, poster stamp planes, is my by Model Power right here. Uh, that's some good stuff. We usually lock those up for our auction. These Concords, oh, there's a ton of them. These are good too. Concord, it was 70 euros when he bought it, but these are made by Hogan. And right there, HG8843AB might be the number, or. 8843AB. Okay, maybe one of those two will pull up this Concord right here. This is great stuff. We found this before too, and I think that's a hundred, maybe a little more on each of those. Jeez, it's got what, four or five of those. I don't know what this one is. I haven't seen that before. It's lightweight. So is this one lightweight. But this right here, uh, Herpa, these big Herpas, that's good. Um, oh yeah, and there's another Concord right there. <laughs> oh, this is great right here. These little Gullivers. Another one, good. Oh, look at this. Lots of them. Got more Gullivers. And then we've got these little tiny Herpa stuff. This stuff uh, doesn't sell for big money, but 20 to 30 bucks. I have these exact ones listed. And um, they just take up almost no space. They're super light, easy to ship, and uh, easy money. Easy money. This is a good box right here. I like finding the plain stuff. Great box, great box. I would say I'll take it home, but I literally have so much of this stuff already that I have to list. I will be listing this stuff for years, guys. Literally for years. And I'm not complaining. All right, more planes. Wow. Whew, this is a big one right here. Concord. Okay, there's some Shuko. The sky marks are good. Uh, we found a lot of these things before. There's some models. Look at this. Little models here of a Desert Hawk helicopter. Model of Black Hawk. Some more Herpa. 
Mm, this is good, Rebels. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is good. I think this is a Herpa Limited. Yes, this is one of those premium series right here. Very nice, premium series. Oh, I know it's a little bit dark back here, guys. Sorry, I just didn't want to take this big, huge bin out because I'm not taking it with me. Although, what's in here? Okay. Oh, okay. It's another Herpa. It's in a really different box, though. We usually find them in this box right here. Uh, it's another Herpa Luthanza. Wow. Okay, that one, the Luthanza, was $162 brand new. That's a good piece, and I don't think it's gone down in value. I think it's stayed the same or gone up. Very good. Good finds here. We got some kind of plexi stand for it, too. Nice. Yeah, that's two great bins right there. Great, great bins. Honestly, each of these bins is probably a couple thousand dollars. Uh, I just seen that based on history with these items selling them. Actually, the one with all the little tiny planes, probably a little bit more. This one's got a fair amount of rat poop and some pee on it. You can tell this is where, you know, the, the rats were frequenting. But luckily, they didn't get inside these. They didn't chew a hole in them or nothing. The stuff in here is pristine. Oh, okay, look at this. Wow. Let me drag this out to the light. I should probably deal with this stack right here. <laughs> if I do, I can get up on the ladder up here. Okay. Markland 46121. And look at all of them. Eh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there's something different down there. Four, six, no, 46121. There's more. There's a whole bunch of these. Uh, I don't know what those are. We'll look them up. See if we can get a value. And there's going to be like at least 10 of them. This right here, though. Oh, uh oh. This, uh oh, guys. This is very interesting. I have found a few of these in the in the first locker. 47125. And I've sold a couple. I think I still have maybe one listed for sale. This is, I'm not going to open it. This is what you see right here. It's a couple of auto carriers. And all these little Porsches are in here. They're little die cast cars made by, I think they're made by Marklin. They might be made by Herpa, the cars. And a uh, beautiful, beautiful set. Awesome stuff. And we got three of them. I think these are three or four hundred bucks each on those. Seriously. Wow. This is heavy. What do we got here? Oh, these are some uh, trains, obviously, right? <laughs> uh, Marklin, made in Germany. I'm not sure what the number is on these, but this kind of loose stuff like this, this is stuff I would prefer to take out to a train show. We do have a train show coming up. Haven't made the decision if we're going to do it or not. 24202 right here. Hey, wow. Oh, this is a set maybe. Let's see. Yes, that's 11. This is 12. This is a full set of tricks right here. And these, ladies and gentlemen, are not for kids. <laughs> these tricks are not for kids. All right. Um, nice. I don't know what that is. Uh, Value-wise, we'll have to look it up. This Atherin right here, 18 bucks brand new. It's probably 20 to 30 bucks. Yeah, these right here, AccuReady. We've had some of those before. 47162. What's this? Another kind of transport of some sort. Oh, I got all these little things too. Ooh, look at that. Bush with the little Airstream type trailer. Nice. Oh, whoa, look at how, look at those, those are heck of small. What are those supposed to be? MZZ? Ah, a BMW Isetta. Hmm, neat. All right, well, this is another great bin. Again, I think 2500 bucks right here, if not a little bit more. Mm -mm, okay. All right, nice little Kato train there. 126-0301. It's got some weight to it too. Locomotive. Now the Woodland Scenics. Love it. Engineers. And Cornerstone. And a little Cornerstone building. Portable toilets. A little party potties. That's fun.